Science is cool. It's all about figuring out how the world works. From the smallest insects to the biggest planets, science is curious about everything. Think about your everyday life. Science is everywhere. Your smartphone uses electricity, a scientific marvel. Baking a cake? That's chemistry in action. Science helps us understand our world and make it better. It brings us new technologies, cures for diseases, and solutions for a healthier planet. Pretty amazing, right? So buckle up, science explorers. Let's dive in and uncover the wonders of science together. Scientists use a special roadmap called the scientific method. This method is a systematic way to explore questions and find answers. It's a step-by-step -step process that helps scientists make discoveries and understand the world around us. It's like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, we solve mysteries about the world. Just like detectives gather clues, scientists gather data and evidence to solve their puzzles. First, ask a question. Start by being curious. Why is the sky blue? How do plants grow? These questions are the starting point of any scientific investigation. Curiosity drives the quest for knowledge. Next, do background research. Read books, watch videos, and talk to experts to learn more. Gathering information helps you understand what is already known and what still needs to be discovered. Then, form a hypothesis. Make an educated guess, like a prediction. I think plants need sunlight to grow. A hypothesis is a statement that can be tested through experiments. After that, test your hypothesis. Design an experiment to see if you're right. Experiments are carefully planned activities that help you test your ideas and see if they hold true. Analyze data. Record your observations and look for patterns. Data analysis helps you understand the results of your experiment and determine if your hypothesis was correct. Finally, draw a conclusion. Was your hypothesis correct? What did you learn? Conclusions summarize your findings and help you understand the implications of your experiment. Remember, sometimes experiments lead to more questions. That's okay, science is all about exploring and discovering. Each answer can open the door to new questions and further investigations, making science an endless adventure. In science, we can learn by doing experiments or making observations. Let's break it down. Experiments are like tests where we change one thing to see how it affects something else. For example, we can change the amount of water we give a plant to see how it affects its growth. Observations are like watching a science show. We carefully watch and record what happens without changing anything. For example, we might observe how a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. Both experiments and observations are super important in science. They help us gather evidence and understand the world around us. Science labs are exciting places, but safety always comes first. Here are some super important rules. Always wear safety goggles to protect your eyes from splashes or flying objects. No running or horseplay in the lab. Accidents can happen when we're not careful. Listen to your teacher's instructions and follow them carefully. Never taste, touch, or smell any chemicals unless your teacher says it's okay. Keep your work area clean and organized. A tidy lab is a safe lab. Remember, safety first. By following these rules, we can have fun exploring science while staying safe. Section 5. Tools of the Trade Science has gadgets too. Scientists use special tools to help them study the world. These tools are essential for making discoveries and understanding how things work. Think of them as your science superpowers. Just like superheroes have gadgets, scientists have their own set of amazing tools. 1. Microscopes. These are like super-powered magnifying glasses. They allow scientists to see things that are too small for the naked eye. They let us see tiny objects up close, like cells and bacteria. This helps us understand the building blocks of life and how organisms function. 2. Telescopes. These powerful tools help us see distant objects in space, like stars and planets. They bring the universe closer to us. 3. Beakers and flasks. These containers are used for mixing, heating, and storing liquids in the lab. They are essential for conducting experiments and chemical reactions. 4. Graduated cylinders. These tall, skinny cylinders measure the volume of liquids accurately. Precision is key in scientific experiments. 5. Thermometers. These handy tools measure temperature, helping us understand how hot or cold things are. Temperature can affect the outcome of experiments. Each tool has a special job, and scientists choose the right tool depending on what they're investigating. These tools make it possible to explore, experiment, and discover new things about our world and beyond. Section 6. Charts and Graphs. Making Sense of the Data Mess. 
Scientists collect lots of data during experiments, but raw data can look like a jumbled mess. That's where charts and graphs come in. Charts and graphs help us organize and visualize data, making it easier to understand. Bar graphs. These graphs use bars of different heights to compare different categories. Line graphs. These graphs use lines to show how something changes over time. Pie charts. These circular charts show parts of a whole, like slices of a pie. By using charts and graphs, scientists can easily spot patterns, trends, and relationships in their data. Section 7. Let's get hands-on, the great plant growth experiment. Ready to be a scientist? Today we're diving into an exciting experiment that will help us understand how different liquids can affect the growth of plants. Let's do a fun experiment to see how different liquids affect plant growth. You'll need three identical plants each in its own pot. Make sure each pot is filled with the same type of soil to keep the conditions consistent. Gather three different liquids, water, juice, and milk. These will be the variables in our experiment. First, label each pot clearly. Label one pot water, another juice, and the last one milk. Second, plant a healthy seedling in each pot. Make sure the seedlings are of the same type and size for accurate results. Third, water each plant with its corresponding liquid every other day. Be consistent with the amount of liquid you use each time. Fourth, observe and measure the height of each plant every day for two weeks. Use a ruler to get precise measurements. Record your data in a chart. Note down the height of each plant daily to track their growth progress. Finally, after two weeks, create a bar graph to compare the growth of the plants. This visual representation will help you see the differences clearly. What do you think will happen? Discuss your predictions with your classmates and write them down. Which liquid will help the plant grow the tallest? Will it be water, juice, or milk? Let's find out together. Section 8. Keep exploring. The world is your laboratory. Science is everywhere. You don't need a fancy lab to be a scientist. Your backyard, the park, or even your kitchen can be your laboratory. Keep asking questions, making observations, and exploring the world around you. Every day is a chance to learn something new and discover the wonders of science. Remember, science is not just about memorizing facts. It's about being curious, asking questions, and seeking answers. So go out there, explore, experiment, and have fun. The world is full of amazing things waiting to be discovered.